Hi guys, Daz here with my top 30 comic book pickups of 2019. 2019 was a fantastic year for me, by far my best year in collecting so far. I only started in November of 2015, but I've got around about 5,000 books now, so I'm doing okay. Um, going forwards, I'm going to be picking up silver and bronze going to be a lot more selective going to be selling off quite a few but i'm excited with what i've got to show you i hope you like let's get into them starting in at number 30 is a book that i consider a grail for myself not many people will agree but i showed this off just the other day in a fantastic christmas aok -okay that i received from a good friend comic vantage aka lewis and uh up in this Christmas evening, I was delighted. Basically, uh, I saw the book online, but it was only in America, and there was only one copy. And Lewis was patient, and he saw only two copies for the remainder of the year, but he managed to snag me one. The book in question from Action Labs, Russian Season of the Guardians, Issue 1. <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers variant. So, uh, yeah, I'm a huge Steelers fan. Despite our injury problems, we still didn't have a losing season. And uh, thanks a million for that, Lewis. I just hope we are a little bit better next season. Right. Up next, number 29 on my list is a AOK -okay I received from my good friend Lee Kendrick, who runs the Antique Centre here in Gloucester. Um, I bought a lot of key issues off, off him over the years, including the first Thanos and the first... Moon Knight, to name but a couple, and from my service, he uh, gifted me four books, and this was a nice early Silver Age book, the book in question, Fantastic Four, issue 26, my earliest Fantastic Four book, this book could go garner some serious coin, um, I reckon it's about a four to a five and uh, this is the first time the thing mentions is Aunt Petunia. Uh, it's a classic battle of the Avengers and the Fantastic Four versus the Hulk. I've seen books in this grade go for around about 200. So to receive that, blown away. Received, uh, like I say, three other books. One of them was a second copy of the Uncanny X-Men. That was from my boy Ethan. And uh, received the first Grey Gargoyle and the first Radioactive Man. A couple of Journey into Mysteries. So that was superb uh, up next uh, we've got a couple of independent books and the only indie titles on my list for the year number 28 love the show on netflix we've got the umbrella academy the free comic book day giveaway but it wasn't free to me because i ended up paying 34 pound but at the time the book was going for 50 plus so it wasn't a bad little purchase obviously the first appearance of the umbrella academy and its members the monocle space boy Kraken, The Rumour, The Seance, The Horror, White Violin, Number 5, uh, and Inspector Loop, Lupo. Um, this was, like I say, a free comic giveaway in 2007. I met a couple of the cast this year. I met um, Space Boy and The Rumour at a con in Birmingham, which was fantastic. Number 27 on my list is a another series i've really enjoyed watching i'm only halfway through the first season but i thought it was absolutely fantastic uh i went to a con in november of last year so i picked this up quite recently and that is for 38 pound 50 i picked up the boys issue number one yeah what a fantastic show the boys is um of course we're getting season two very soon this is the first appearance of the butcher a train wee huey uh, director Susan Reiner and Terror the Dog, who was going to be in season two. It's also the first prince of the female of the species and monkey. So, uh, a lot of firsts in this book. I've got several of key issues from that series. That is from Dynamite. Sorry, I tell a lie, that is from Wildstorm. Dynamite takes over after issue seven. Um, now, this is low grade. Uh, but I only paid £13.20 for it, and it is 
a nice tent center and it was a character in my encyclopedia and every any time i can find them for cheap i'd like to grab them and the book in question brave and the bold issue number 31 really old book this one almost golden age and this is the first appearance of Cave Carson. Also the first appearance of Bulldozer Smith and Christy Madison. Read the book, pretty fun read actually. Cave Carson went on to have a cybernetic eye. I think that was from the uh, Young Animals imprint. Up next, I picked this up in March of last year. Uh, another con in Birmingham. And uh, oh, bit of interruption there from uh, the tablet. And I ended up overpaying for this book. I ended up paying 50. It is very low grade. It is barely on one staple. But you know, you get there and you didn't don't see many key issues. So you've got money to burn. And I wanted the book. Simple as that. It's a pence copy, but I picked up Fantastic Four, issue 45. The first appearance of the Inhumans. Obviously, we're in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and that dreadful Inhumans TV uh, show. I saw, him, I saw the first episode at the cinema. It just went downhill from there. We've got the first cameo of Black Bolt, first appearance of Crystal, Karnak, Triton, Lockjaw, and the second appearance of Gorgon. We've also got the first appearance of Gorgon. Up next, I went to an auction the other day. This would have been higher, but alas, you don't really get a chance to check over the books too much at auctions and the centerfold is detached. Otherwise, this would have been higher. Um, huge Doom Patrol fan. And uh, can't wait to see that show. Loved them in the Titans TV show. At an auction, I paid £85.12 for this. And the book is Doom Patrol issue 99 and this is the first appearance of Beast Boy Garfield Logan who later becomes the changeling uh, it's also the first and only known appearance of the Bugman Abner Gordon we've also got the first appearance of Gillian Jackson but um yeah I was Going to an auction is a scary day, trust me guys, just when you think you've won a book, phone bids come in and uh, it can get pretty pricey there. But I won a few books that day, another one to show you from there in a minute. Up next, I paid £20 for this initially, but again, the centrefold was detached, otherwise this would have been much higher. So in the end, uh, the seller, I said I'll keep it, I paid a tenner. And the book in question for £10, Daredevil, issue 131. We all know what this one is, guys. This is the first appearance and origin of Bullseye, um, Benjamin Lester. Um, of course, Bullseye was in the Daredevil movie and then season three of the Daredevil show. I'm hearing strongly that the uh, Marvel Netflix uh, characters will be appearing again soon. That would be great. Uh, we've also got the first appearance of Rose. It's got the Marvel value stamp issue uh, number 47 of Thor in this book. So for a tenner, I can't complain for the first bullseye. Up next, uh, uh, showcases my favourite DC series. And this was a nice upgrade to a tatty copy that I had. And I paid just £7.95 quite recently for Showcase Presents issue 66. Look at this character. The first appearance and origin of Buana Beast, Mike Maxwell. And I uh, don't know how many of you guys know that he appeared in the Legends of Tomorrow uh, CW show. He didn't speak, but he was definitely in there. He was in a circus. He also got the first appearance of Jumba the Ape, He Who Never Dies, and Robert Kemboya. And that presents very nicely indeed for seven ninety five. Sticking with Showcase, I do love me some Showcase. And... What did I pay for this one? £34.70. But it again is very nicely presenting. Um, mid grade, probably around about a five. This is uh, Showcase Presents issue number 39. And this is the first appearance of Chemo. Now, 
he's appeared in a few animated things. He's usually yeah, like a giant green jelly sort of thing. Um, I think he was in the Teen Titans Go movie and the Brave and the Bold uh, animated series, to name a couple. It's also the third appearance of the Metal Men. Now, I have, like I said, many other big key books, but some of them are, uh, are coverless. I picked up last year, I picked up the first Metal Men and the first um, Metamorpho. They were both coverless. I picked up a low grade first Mira, uh, low grade first Captain Boomerang, uh, low grade uh, first. Uh, man bat so you know that's some nice key issues there i would like to upgrade them eventually at some point i will do a nice low grade collecting video show you off my low graders uh this certain next one certainly isn't low grade and the book in question more doom patrol because i love it and that is issue number 89 this is very high grade look at that beautiful and this is the first appearance and origin of the animal vegetable mineral man, Sven Larsen, who appeared in the Doom Patrol TV show. That is a gorgeous copy, guys. As I say, £25.79 I paid for that. Sorry about the glare from the miler. Talking in high grade, like I said, I've got, I picked it, going forward, so I want to pick up silver and bronze in a minimum of fine. So I'm being very selective. And this is a very high grade book. Uh, Again, uh, big player, and I think this book is still undervalued even for what I paid. And she had her own series, of course, a big player in the MCU too. And that is Tales of Suspense, issue 77. That is a stunning copy. I paid £38.84 for that. And uh, this is the first appearance, of course, of Peggy Carter. Margaret Peggy Carter appeared in Captain America, the first uh, Avenger. Winter Soldier, the Age of Ultron movie, Ant-Man, Endgame, and of course her own series, and a Agent Carter one-shot. Great read too. More of high grade now. And I'm sticking with Showcase. Love this character. Uh, actually was uh, watching live darts when this uh, I picked this one up. Delighted to get it for £30.48. I bought Showcase 73, the first appearance of the Creeper. And again, this could be VF, I think. Stunning, stunning copy. Uh, no, barely a tick on it. A couple of minor, minor ticks, but beautiful. Love the Creeper. Number. 17 on my list is uh, some Marvel goodness and it is a, another pretty high grade book. I paid 41 for this. 30 to 40 is my sweet spot. I don't like to um, overspend and that is Journey into Mystery issue 102. Bang for your buck with this one guys you get uh, the first appearance of both Lady Sif and Hela, stars of the MCU. Lady Sif, obviously, a member uh, Thor's helper from Asgard, and his sister, Hela, who was in Ragnarok. And another pretty high grade book here, guys. Um, a, one that's a bit out of the norm uh, DC Comics. Paid 36 24 for this one. The book in question. Our Army at War, issue 151. Love this book. This was a fantastic read. This is the first appearance of Enemy Ace, Hans von Hammer. So delighted to have that one. Another one in my encyclopedia that was TikTok. And so we make the top 15. And First up is a book I picked up. It's at the True Believers Cheltenham Con in February of last year. Uh, that one's coming up very soon again. And I can't wait. It's one of my favourite cons. This was a lovely upgrade to my Mr. Miracle issue number one. Now I put this again 
could be a six, could be a six five, could even be a seven. And uh, what did I pay for this? Fifteen pounds. Trust me, guys. Mr. Miracle number one is going to be a very hot book when that new God's movie comes, and it's not a million miles away. Um, the story centres around uh, Big Barda and Mr. Miracle's love and uh, trying to escape Dark Side and his minions. So, like I said, this is the first appearance of Mr. Miracle, who was scot free, going to be in the New Gods movie. You've got the first appearance of Oberon and the first appearance and death of the first Mr. Miracle, the Deus Brown, and the villain of the piece, the first appearance of Steel Hand. Gorgeous covers, uh, colours, which really pop. Fantastic read. So, uh, number 14 on my list, and this is another gorgeous copy. Uh, paid £30 for this one and when did I buy that? Uh, back end of last year and this is like I said, I love my Doom Patrol Doom Patrol issue number 86 this is the uh, basically the first um, issue of the Doom Patrol ongoing series volume 1 this is the first appearance of, Brother, of the Brotherhood of Evil team that was in the Doom Patrol TV show. We've got the first appearance of Eric Morden, who later becomes Mr. Nobody, again, in the TV show. We've got the first appearance of The Brain, Madame Rogue, and Monsieur Mala. That really is a nice copy. Number 13 on my list. And uh, it's been a book that's been on my want list for forever. I just wanted the right price and the right grade. Uh, again, I think this is around about a, a 3.5, 4.0. It's old school. It's a 10 center. I paid £30 for this one. Again, my sweet spot. And uh, character appeared in the Supergirl TV show. This is Superboy, issue 89. And this is the first appearance of Monel. Monel. Uh, Largand, who later becomes Valor. He also appeared in the Flash TV show, played by Chris Woods, and I think he's coming back. Okay, um, this book would have been higher, but it's pretty low grade, but it was an auction win, like I say. And uh, I bought a big lot of Jimmy Olsen at this auction, and I ended up effectively paying £5.72 for this book. The book in question, Jimmy Olsen, issue 134, the first appearance the, sorry, the first cameo appearance of Darkseid, who is Upsass. Uh, and again, he's going to be in the New Gods movie. He was previously in the Smallville TV show. Uh, lovely Neil Adams cover art there. So, uh, delighted to add that one. This is my stealth boy. Of, well, that was a pretty good stealth boy at £5.72. But this is a fantastic stealth boy. And uh, I couldn't believe it when I won it for this. Um, there were, I think, five issues of Strange Tales, and I think, what were they going for? 30 quid, plus a little bit of shipping. So I ended up paying £6.59 for this. This is Strange Tales, issue 169, one of my favourite ever covers, the first appearance of Brother Voodoo. Just a stunning book. Like I say, this book is it been going crazy of late uh do very well to get it under 100 so i was delighted for that um and brother we do is jericho drum it's also the first appearance of gambala uh papa jumbo and the first appearance and death of daniel drum uh jericho's twin brother who uh is, was also a brother voodoo some lovely john ramita senior cover -up. another pretty good stealth boy because this book is heating up now we are getting a um, Suicide Squad movie soon from Sean Gunn. I've been looking for this book at a reasonable price uh, and I got a good price. This book again is a £100 book normally. I ended up paying £24.44 for the top Detective Comics issue 300. Uh, again, a pretty solid copy, guys. Uh, the only thing with this one is, is a little bit of tape on the interior page. And I mean a little tiny bit, but there's no there's no rip, so I don't understand where that came from. But it presents very nicely. Uh, the first appearance, of course, of 
This guy, Polka Dot Man, Abner Krill, and he's going to be in that Suicide Squad movie. He's got the last Aquaman backup story in, in Detective Comics. And the Aquaman backup stories continue in World's Finest, issue 125. I'm full of information that nobody really cares about. Um, this is a very low grade book, but I had to include it because it's a very early uh, Justice League book. And it is a 10 center. And I paid 30 quid for it from my good friend Lee Kendrick. Uh, even in this grade, this is a 70 pound plus book, I believe. Again, it's only a, probably a 2.0 at best. Justice League of America, issue number three. It was a character I always remember from the Batman Brave and the Bold cartoon series. And there's this guy here. This is the first appearance of Kanjar Ro. You've also got the first appearance of Hyatus, Chrome, and Sire. But that was a fun read. Uh, Justice League at the Battle. Uh, different villains that Kanjar Ro sent them out. To fight. Low grade. They seem to make a, a career out of it <laughs> in the community. But uh, this was one of my uh, top 10 on the want list for last year and delighted to get it, guys. Even in the grade that I've given it, which is uh, a 2.0. A 2.0. It's on its staples, just as he says. The book in question, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 50. This is the first appearance, of course, of Kingpin, Wilson Fisk. Now, I don't know how many of you know, but uh, Wilson Fisk made his live-action debut in The Incredible Hulk, the trial of The Incredible Hulk movie that was on TV, starring Bill Bixby. And uh, he then went on to be in the Daredevil movie, and, of course, it's fantastic in the Daredevil TV show. He's also got the first appearance of Chet Huntley, who was a real TV journalist. First appearance of David Brinkley, Ed McMahon, and Johnny Carson, the late night TV show hosts. So uh, yeah, 2.0, I paid £53.45 for that. So pretty happy with that. Like I say, it presents nicely. Can't complain. Up next, another book that's pretty high grade, and uh, this is a bit of a spec book at the same time. Two good things in this book. One, we got uh, an established villain in the MCU, and two, we've got a love interest, I think, that is going to be appearing soon in the MCU. The book in question, £33 I paid. Strange Tales, issue 126, guys. Of course, we've got the first appearance of Dormammu, the villain from the Doctor Strange movie, who was... Apparently going to be turning up again in the sequel at some some junction. And we've also got the first appearance of Claire, who, uh, who is Claire Strange eventually. So uh, that is uh, Doctor Strange's love interest. So I think she's going to be showing up. We've also got the first appearance of Garantic, the Guardian, Guardian of the Dark Dimensions. And this is the first time Doctor Strange uses the phrase by the hoary hosts of Hogarth. Or Hogoth. Uh, Claire, Claire is unnamed in this issue. But a, a good book, all the same. Up next, I'm delighted to have got this one I did. Again, I think I've got a steal because this is 100... Even in this ratty condition, again, I'd say this is a 2.5. It's got a bit of a rip on the top cover. But uh, I ended up paying £41.10 for this. I knew, I had a feeling that this character was going to be in the Shang-Chi movie. You probably guessed it. Tales of Suspense, issue 50. And this is the first appearance, of course, of the Mandarin. Gen Tan. Of course, Mandarin appeared in Iron Man 3, but we can forget about that. But like I say, he's going to be the main villain in the Shang-Chi movie. Cannot wait for that. Um, he's also in a Marvel one-shot. All Hail the King. But uh, a great read. And it presents pretty good. It's on his staples, just as he says. Up uh, next, um, again, delighted. These are books I never thought I'd own. Well, you've seen, I remember passing on a terribly ratty copy for about 20 and regretting it because it had tape on it and everything. But um, I got a nice copy instead for 33 again. And this is a, a nice 10 center. This is Adventure Comics issue 283. Bang for your buck with this one, guys. This is the first appearance of General Zod, Drew Zod. Been in the Superman movies, Man of Steel, um, Smallville, Supergirl, Krypton. 
pretty much everything, you name it. Um, it's also the, uh, the first mention of the Phantom Zone. And that's obviously huge in the DCU, the Phantom Zone. And we've also uh, got the first appearance of Dr. Zadu. So uh, delighted to have that. And now we're into my top four. And these are my four favourites by a long way. Uh, number four on my list is a cover that has just blown me away. And it's a cover from Carmine Infantino. And uh, again, a book that is usually 150 for a solid grade. And this is a very solid grade. Again, a four to a five. I paid, what did I pay? £61.95. There was nobody bidding on this book. I couldn't believe it. And uh, I put in a bid last minute and won it. And the book in question, Strange Tales, issue 205, the first appearance of Dead Man. Yeah, delighted to own that one, guys. First appearance and origin of Dead Man was Boston Brand. We've also got the first appearance of Ramakrishna. And like I said, Carmine Infantino did the cover. It's a great story. He is going to be a player in the dark... Um, Justice League, Justice League Dark, if that uh, ever materialises, and I'm feel certain it will at some point. Love that book. Up next is a book, and it's my favourite uh, ever villain. And uh, no, it's not Thanos. I got, I got that one, but it's not Thanos. But this is a character that stayed with me. Um, huge Jessica Jones fan. From there, you know it. Book in question, Daredevil, issue number four. The first appearance and origin of the Purple Man. Um, Zebediah Kilgrave, played quite beautifully by David Tennant. Couldn't have asked for more from Jessica Jones's season one. And uh, David Tennant was fantastic, so I love that. What did I pay? £87. Again, it's in the three to four range, I believe. So... Very happy to have that. And then into my top two. And uh, this one here is the most I've ever paid at a con for a book. Um, yeah, so I saw it there sitting on the shelf. Couldn't believe it. What do I grade it at? Well, 2.5, 3.0. I'm very harsh. This could be a 3.4. <laughs> Sorry, 3.4. 3.5 to a 4.0. Um, I paid 110 and I bought that in the middle of last year at the Birmingham Con. Nice 10 center. The book in question, Showcase, issue number 34. It presents very, very well, guys. Of course, this is the first appearance and origin of the Atom, Ray Palmer, in the Silver Age. Of course, he was in the Legends of Tomorrow and the Justice League of America TV show. Um... Yeah, Legends of the Superheroes, Arrow, Flash, he's been in loads of things. Um, played by Brandon Routh, and a lot of them met Brandon Routh, great guy. Delighted to own that book. Um, there's a tiny bit of writing here, but it's very faint, and the corners are a little bit blunted. On, see, there's a little bit there gone, but besides that, on its staples, and presents nicely. So that leaves my number one book from, from last year. Uh, again, it was bidding, and uh, I thought if I can get this over, under 100, I will try my luck. Didn't expect it to go for under 100, because it's a pricey book, and this is a nicely graded book. Again, a 4 to a 5.0, I think. Uh, last minute, I stuck in a cheeky bid. £82 is what I won it for. Couldn't believe it. The book in question, my number one, Flash. Issue 139, the first appearance of this guy. We all know him. Uh, first appearance and origin of Professor Zoom, a.k.a. Reverse Flash, E.R. Bard Thorne. He was in The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow TV show. And apparently we are getting a Flash film with Ezra Miller. And uh, I can imagine Reverse Flash would be a huge point, uh, a huge villain in that film going forwards. This book only has room to grow, I believe. Looking to get a lot of books slapped this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. So that's it, guys. That's my top 30. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, everyone, for your support. Here's my uh, sponsors, Hawkman and Batman. Got a Batman shirt on. 
I'm sat at 751 subscribers. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Can't wait to bring more for 2020. I'll show you my want this soon. Bye for now.